today, I'm going to tell you a story about one brave little Yordle. Maybe you've heard it already. Everyone in Vandal City knows this one. Vandal City is an incredible place full of magic. was built by us Yordles, and we filled it with our dreams. Every Yordle can find a way to be happy here, with the help of their friends. But when this story took place, not everything was perfect. Once this paradise got sick, and it was torn apart. Our hero lived on an island at Bamboo City's outskirts, Yarnville. Back then, our hero was a shy homebody, whose daily routine consisted of only two things. Knitting lessons with their teacher, Gramps, and spending time with their friend, Clover, who would come over and talk for hours, dreaming about the future. Our hero could barely imagine the adventures waiting for them. Well, actually, they could. Because this is exactly how our story begins. It all starts with dreaming big. Yordles from all around gathered for another party. Well, this wasn't just another party. This time, Ozzy promised something very special. I mean, he always promises something special. But this time, he gave the honor of starting the party to someone else. Seems like our hero knew what to do. They had some special knitting knowledge after all. But then everything went so wrong. The portal started to collapse. It sucked away the entire party mood. And a couple of unlucky yordles, like Ozzy and Clover. And that was just the beginning. There was a chain reaction. sometimes lose a little hope. It's hard saving everything and everyone all the time. But I started with saving our hero. So they could help me. But not like they helped Ozzy. If you know what I mean. At last, the button was back where it belonged. This knitter house was fixed and ready for some magic. Now that's some high-level knitting magic. It even scared our brave little hero. Just a bit. For a second, it seemed like something was wrong. But then, suddenly it worked! The yarn was perfect. Gramps would be really proud. It was time to put the parties aside and go back to the basics. Knitting with yarn. And it was a piece of cake. Good thing our hero had been practicing for a hundred years. And then it happened. A real working portal! It was time for some gardening magic. Our hero tried to cheer the seed on. It's 
always good to see magic working right. But sometimes, it can be a little complicated. Here, our hero's magic could help. That's much better. Magic back for a second or two. The flight was fun at first, but later on, it was a bit of a bone drop. Any mortal would be scared by something like this, but our hero was brave. Soon, Gadgetin appeared in the distance. started with a party, so ending with one seemed right. We wondered, was this the end already? Well, my Yordle friends, the answer is no. This story is far from over. From a distance, it looks like Gadgetin is made entirely out of clanging metal and flying sparks. Long ago, Heimerdinger lived here, with a metal helper. He built a laboratory, and soon other Yordles followed him. All of them loved to invent new stuff and crack cool things. Their hard work transformed the island. The sound of hammers on metal was everywhere. And then came the sparks. They planted lamp seeds in empty soil and grew the great electro garden. Time flew by, and Heimerdinger's destiny called him to a different place. And then the disaster ruined everything. No more clanging, no more sparks. But our hero brought back hope to Gadgetin. A new sound, the sound of dancing, marked a new beginning. Long ago, Green Sprout Grove was a windswept, barren wasteland. Then the Yordles decided to transform it into a blooming paradise. First things first, they decided to plant a tree. A gigantic tree. It became a symbol of life. It protected this island from wind and gave it shade and water. And soon the once lifeless island was full of different kinds of plants. They grew their farms and gardens in the shade of the tree. But in the portal disaster, the tree fell down. Everything they worked for was in danger. Then our brave hero came to Green Sprout Grove. Our hero brought back the hope of fixing everything and helped the Yordles believe in their dreams again. Yarnville was a place for Yordles who cared about their friends and their community. 
more than anything. Sure, they loved knitting, but they were missing something. They missed... fresh experiences. And how do you get fresh experiences? By traveling and meeting new friends, of course. They put on their magic backpacks and went to explore Vandal City. Those brave knitters visited every nook and cranny. They traded with Yordles all over the city and helped them where they could. They told stories from their travels and inspired Yordles with new dreams. They threw incredible parties where all Yordles could have fun together. But most importantly, they knitted a magic portal on every island. Their portal network made it easier to travel across the city and helped to bring all the Yordles into one big community. It was a huge success, but soon, it felt like there was no more exploring to do. These knitters gave in to apathy. Soon apathy turned into resentment. This was the feeling that made them split from the rest of Vandal City. When Yordles explore their interests, or just have fun together, they create magic. This kind of magic unites all Yordles with powerful bonds. Magic threads! The knitters wove those threads to make their magic portals. And those portals bound the scattered islands of Vandal City into a tight community. But over time, the magic threads connecting us all wore thin and started to break. And that's how we got here. The city was in great danger, and our missing friends were lost between the portals. Yumi had a good plan to save the lost Yordles, but it was a little convoluted. And our hero would definitely need some help to succeed. Inspiration Isle began as just a bunch of small rocks. Vandal City's most artistic and passionate Yordles lived there. And even though they focused on their art, their inspiration was lacking. In their search for inspiration, the Yordles on these scattered, lonely rocks became a tight-knit group. But only outsiders, the Yordles from other islands, could give them the they were looking for. And all their talents finally bloomed with fresh color. But with time, the Yordles got bored, and their ideas became stale and repetitive. And the portal disaster pushed them into an infinite loop of disappointment. But then, our brave hero arrived. They brought new colors to Inspiration Isle and filled the Yordles there with hope. Ever since Yarnville was separated from the rest of Vandal City, the knitters there forgot their calling and found new hobbies. Everyone but Gramps. He tried to save the craft of knitting from going extinct. He found new students and taught them everything he knew. Gramps' old school approach did not go well. Soon, the only student left was Ozzy. And he had his own ideas about how to help Vandal City. They got into a fight, and Ozzy left. He had his own vision. Knitters are destined to throw parties. But even Yordles can get bored with partying, and Ozzy wasn't ready to admit that Gramps was right. Instead of asking Gramps for help, Ozzy teamed up with Vagar to make things right. As you know, it didn't go well. Ozzy was stuck between portals without any way to fix what he'd done. His only hope was our hero. Clover made Ozzy believe that her friend would do anything to save them. 
He just hoped that our hero could be a good knitter and a good friend. He just had to hope. Long ago, some of Vandal City's yordles were looking for a new mission in life. Being a hero and protecting Vandal City sounded exciting. So Gramps knitted a special magic pocket to serve as a base for a team of heroes. That pocket held everything a hero could need. But the problem was that nothing that bad really ever happened in Vandal City. And soon the pocket was abandoned and forgotten. Sprout Grove needed a new tree to protect the land. But even the biggest and strongest trees sprout from the tiniest seeds. It takes forever for a tree like that to grow. But this seed was magical, and it was filled with the dreams of the yordles who planted it. <laughs> it didn't take long to grow. The shampoo that had caused so much trouble was finally put to good use. At first, it seemed like it would work, but then... The storm roared to life, and the lightning flashed. No one had ever seen such a powerful storm before. A few lightning strikes charged the whole network. Something unusual was happening at the beach. Everyone there felt so carefree and happy. The water was sparkling, just like the vacationing Yordle's eyes. It had been so long since they felt relaxed. The tension was gone. There was finally space for new creative ideas. Yordles from every island helped to bring Yarnville back. Thanks to their hard work, the cannon was ready. It only took a couple of seconds to point it at the island. was united again. Our hero's dream came true, and every Yordle considered them a good friend. That's how this story ends. But for Vandal City, and us Yordles who live there, the party continues!